Hello and welcome to Focus On. I'm Moe Peterson. MultiChoice announced its media broadcast partnership with the Earthshot Prize to help address climate challenges on the African continent. The Earthshot Prize is a global environment prize that aims to find scalable solutions to address the world's biggest environmental problems and repair our planet over the next 10 years. The partnership aims to raise awareness and understanding of the Earthshot Prize across Africa, support local finalists, highlight their innovative solutions and mobilize communities to address sustainability challenges. Joining me today are Hannah Jones, Chief Executive Officer, the Earthshot Prize and MTL Spital, Non-Executive Chair, Multi-Choice Group. Welcome to the show. Hello. MTL, I want to start with you. Hello, to be here you. with you. Fantastic. Nice to have you, Hannah. Um, and tell us, I want to start if, um, with you. What does climate change mean for Africa and multi-choice? Africa is, see, is the biggest victim of climate change. Not necessarily the biggest perpetrator, but the biggest victim. Uh, I'm here in Kenya. They're talking about three million people who are suffering from potential starvation. Uh, directly as, as a result of droughts, which they believe is as, as a direct result of fundamental climate change. Now, if we want a sustainable Africa and we want a sustainable market and we as a corporate citizen of Africa, then we have to be seen to be leaving our planet and our continent uh, in a better place than when we found it and when we were born. So I think as part of our overall responsibility as multi-choice, we are extremely pleased uh, to be partnering the Earthshot Prize uh, in helping find entrepreneurs, innovators, and young Africans who have the ability to make fundamental change on the continent and ultimately uh, in the world. Now, Hannah, let me um, rope you in. The Earthshot Prize first launched in 2021. Could you briefly explain what the Earthshot Prize is about and if you have made any strides within the first year? Absolutely. Thank you. Yes. And the Earthshot Prize was actually founded in Namibia when Prince William, our founder and the president of the Earthshot Prize, was visiting a conservation project. And he had two observations that he felt like he wanted to intervene and do something about. And the first was that he was visiting a project that was really successful, but nobody knew about it and it wasn't being scaled in a way that it could. It could have been a solution that would scale across Africa and many other continents. The second was he saw there was an awful lot of climate um, pessimism in the world and anxiety. And whilst we know that that can drive action, sometimes we also know that pessimism and anxiety can shut people down and they can feel para paralyzed. So what he wanted to do was to inspire urgent optimism and help solutions that were already working to go to scale and to be known around the world. And in doing that, help to speed us towards repairing the planet. And then he was inspired by President Kennedy's moonshot challenge to the American people, in which by challenging them to land a man on the moon and bring him home safely in a decade, he actually unleashed a wave of innovation that fueled economic and social progress. And he sparked a mindset that we could turn the seemingly impossible into the possible if we applied human ingenuity, a bit of grit and determination, and lots of collaboration. And that really sums up what we're about at the Earthshot Prize. We scour the earth to find amazing solutions that if scaled could help really transform and repair our planet. We put a spotlight on them. We wanna tell the story of those innovators we award five of them with one million pounds each to help them speed. But then we also get behind the other finalists to help them go to scale as well. Now, MTL, speaking about collaborations, why and how did MultiChoice become a member of the Global Alliance? Uh, I had never heard, of, heard about the Earthshot Prize. Uh, instinctively, we were really interested especially because as Henna has already explained so well that it is about inspiration and motivation, not fear-based, not paralyzing people, uh, really motivating people to, to do great things. 
and uh, that th that really was the uh, the catalyst for our interest. But what then happened was that uh, we were almost going nowhere fast. And then Hannah, who took over as the CEO, I'm not sure when you took over, Hannah, probably February, if I think, if I remember correctly. But uh, Hannah and I met in, in London and we had a workshop. It was the first time we met face to face. And again, the power of face to face meetings uh, cannot be underestimated. And we connected with her and her team. Uh, we were inspired, we were energized. And what's it, three months later, we're sitting here announcing our very collaborative partnership. And we hope that multi-choice will be able to showcase those very, very powerful, in innovative uh, companies, uh, people and institutions out of Africa in such a way that some of them will scale globally and in other ways will motivate not only every African, uh, but every other company to get behind this unbelievably positive project. Hannah, I just want to come back to you alluded to earlier to eco innovators. Is it important for you to search for eco innovators that could hold the key to climate solutions? Could you define and give examples of what you are looking for in eco innovators? Yeah, that's a great question. So we have a community of official nominators who help us to find innovation around the world of solutions in one of the five following areas. So we look at how we can replenish the oceans, how we can restore nature. We think about how we can live in a waste-free world, how we can fix our climate and have clean air. Because we know that those things together are the ingredients to stabilizing and regenerating our planet. And so we look around the world for those innovators. Now, importantly, we think of innovation as living in all kinds of organizations. You could be a not-for-profit, a for-profit. You could be in a government or a city. You could be an academic or a youth leader. What we care about is do you have a working prototype that is showing sign of progress and traction? And if we could help you to scale it, that it could really have a big impact, whether that be on greenhouse gases, or on biodiversity or on creating green jobs. And so that's what we do is we look for people that do that work. And we've just called it eco innovation because we think that there's actually a wave of people doing this kind of work and they're unseen and often unrecognized and they need our support, all of our support because they are doing incredible work and they're putting their lives and their careers into the heart of fixing the world's problems. And we want to champion them we want to galvanize support for them and we want to put them on the global stage and celebrate them. What is the partnership with EcoShot Prize about? And what is multi-choice role and what is multi-choice's role rather in this partnership? We have a very powerful platform. We tell unbelievably great African stories. We're the biggest fund of sport on the continent and we have a very, very strong brand. Now, if we can use that platform to one, make people aware of the Earthshot Prize, if we can, number two, uh, showcase some of the African solutions that have been chosen by Hannah and her team, uh, if we can help them scale, create awareness about them, bring other companies on board and get a wave of new innovation coming out of Africa, we will be the platform that enables, grows, and really puts the rocket fuel behind innovation and behind the Earthshot Prize in Africa. Hannah, the Earthshot Prize formulated a set of criteria which you use to select finalists. Can you walk us through um, these criteria? We're looking for projects and solutions that can demonstrate they are actually working. We think that they've probably gone from beyond being an idea in the head to being a working prototype and they're starting to have some success and they can point to their impact. So we wanna know how are you impacting greenhouse gases, biodiversity or green jobs? And then what we do is we're looking for stories that could really inspire. We want stories that will spark the world's imagination that the impossible can actually be possible. So we don't just want heavy tech 
or fintech. We want all kinds of solutions. And some of those will be very simple, but it's in that simplicity that you see how they could be scaled and easily reproduced. And we're also really looking for, for teams that are working well together. Now, we have some particular focus areas. So for example, we want to make sure that we have a real geographic diversity, which is one of the reasons we're so excited to partner with MultiChoice, because we want to see so many more African nominations coming in. Last year, we had three African finalists. This year, I can't tell you how many we have, so you'll have to wait for the end of October for 22, but I think you're gonna be happy. Let's see next year how many more African nominations we can get in. Uh, and then really it's all about how can we take those solutions and spotlight them, bring those teams on a journey of high growth and help them to scale their work as, as quickly as possible. Now, MTRs, as we conclude this very interesting conversation, what is MultiChoice doing in its business to manage climate um, challenge issues? Our head office in Randburg is, has got a five-star rating as a green building. We support communities around us with solar solutions. The traffic lights in, Ra in the Randburg area are solar powered, sponsored by us. We do a number of other initiatives like that uh, in the rest of the continent. But I think our responsibility goes beyond just the fact that we say we are doing our bit. We, our responsibility as, a, as, a, as an African citizen is to partner people like Hannah and the Earthshot Prize and really scale this thing globally. You know, the one thing that, uh, that sits heavily with me is that I think Africa gets a very raw deal in terms of uh, just the image out there, just the ability to showcase some unbelievable innovative solutions that come out of Africa. Multi-choice itself is supremely innovative. It, spawned, it was spawned 35 years ago, only the second pay TV operator in the world. Nobody recognizes that. But in many ways, there are probably hundreds and thousands of innovative companies and solutions doing exactly what, uh, what the philosophy is in terms of climate change. And I think if we can play our small part in enabling them, in showcasing them, and then get Henna and the companies uh, that support her and her teams to help them scale. And really for us, the dream would be if we can find in the next five years to 10 years, one African company that comes through this process and comes up with a global solution that can be recognized globally, we will feel very satisfied about that. Well, that brings us to the end of this very interesting conversation. Thank you to my guest, Hannah Jones, Chief Executive Officer of the Earth Shot Prize, and MTRS Patel, Non-Executive Chair, Multi-Choice Group. And to all our viewers, it is goodbye for now.